come to the next point planning block word planning problem in the left screen you can see that there is a start set and a goal set the block problem is known as a sussman word it, it is found in 1970s we are unable to solve this problem hence it hence it's considered as a anomalous when two sub goals g1 and g2 are given as shown in figure and they are non enter lived a plan to reproduce either a plan or g1 and they are not uh, connected to each other or and uh, con concatenated with the plan of g2 or vice versa that means in other word this is a start set and this is a goal set the start set having the figure a c and b have the different goals or a c have the single uh, goals and b have the different goals and where the a b c have the all goals the block word planning problem is nothing but three blocks labeled as a b c are allowed to rest on the flat surface the given condition that is only one block can be moved at time to achieve the goal the start state and the goal state are shown in the following diagram start says this is like that and the goal set is this one so this way we can think how to perform an operation the planning consists of the following important steps choose the best rule for applying the next rule based on the best available heuristic data sets second one apply the chosen rule for computing the new problem state detect when a solution has been found detect dead ends so they can be easily abandoned and the system effort is directed is more fruitful directions detect when almost correct solution has been found so this is how the planning works in shorter ways suppose cube a have a unit one direction cube c have unit two direction and cube b have unit three directions so i'll put a unit cube a b c which will have the uni directional values so that that will give me a good amount of result if i put it respected to their priorities so this is called planning in shorter way if uh if you would like to study for your subjects then you plan for something now that is like the our first subject is aiml so what we will do the ami aiml will study when there is a last two days are remaining from the exam date this is the preparation we go in the reverse order or generally people go for the forward order we do the finishing and go for the revision again so it is a planning so the how we can plan by separating our priorities and and go for their progress now learning according to hubert simon learning do not change in the system that enable system to do the same task more efficiently in the next time arthur simon stated that the machine learning is a field of a computer science that gives computer ability to learn without being explicitly programmed in 1997 the michael proposed that a computer program is said to the learn from experience e with respect to some class of task t and performance major p if importance task in t as measured by p improved with experience e the main purpose of machine learning to study and design the algorithms that can be used to produce predicts from the given data sets the following task must be learning through the by learning agents so keep record from relevant aspects so understand the low rate values why do required machine learning why do we require machine learning machine learning is plays an important role in improving and understanding the efficiency of human learning machine learning is used to discover new things not on 
not known to many human beings rote learning rote learning is a possible of the basic of memorizations for example when a learner learns a poem or songs by reciting or repeating without knowing the actual meaning of the poem or song that is called rote learning introduction learning introduction learning is carried out on the basis of supervised learning in this learning process a general rule is introduced by induced by the system from a set of observed instances however class definition can be constructed with the help of the classification method this induction learnings now in figure a a induction learnings that is points are plotted in xy plane so point xy in xy plane y is equal to x and task to find function hx that are point well in figure b a piece wise learn linear h function is given while the figure c is the more explicited h function are given both the functions agree with the example points but differ with the value of assigned on other than x input as shown in figure d we have function that really apparently ignores one of the example point but it fits into other simple function the true unknown of this many function for h but without further knowledge we have not to refer b c d so induction learning is nothing but we are plotting the points into the figure a as we can show then we do the piece wise linear curve and that means we use the with the help of the line y is equal to mx plus c and we plot the lines intermediate between the points and the figure c we plot with the help of the curves or splines and in figure d we omit the points which is not in the what we call the range or it have the different value or it is not correlated to our existing points so this is how the induction learning by example is taught here learning by taking advice this is a self explanatory this type of the easiest simple way for learning if your friend is advised bhai udhar mat ja wo sar aaj tere ko bahut पकड़ के गाली देने वाला है तो उधर आदमी नहीं जाता दिस इज कॉल्ड लर्निंग बाय टेकिंग एडवाइस बाई इफ दे नो इफ वी गो देयर द सर विल बी डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू एंग्री विथ द सन सो दिस इज बाय लर्निंग बाय टेकिंग एडवाइस नो एक्सप्लेनेशन बेस्ड लर्निंग एक्सप्लेनेशन बेस्ड लर्निंग इज ऑल्सो सेम थिंग लर्निंग बाय एग्जाम्पल और एक्सप्लेनेशन बाय best learning learning in problem solving this is the same as we learn to how to deal with the problem then we solve again with the help of the number of solution sets this is learning in problem solving this is a general procedure learning in problem solving now coming to the perception is a process of interpret acquire select and the organize of the sensory information that captured from the real world human beings have sensory receptors such as touch taste smell sight and hearing so the information received from these receptors is transmitted to human brain or organize the received information so this is a perception according to the received information action is taken by interacting with the environment and manipulate the, the navigate to the objects the perception it is like senses to our human beings so the perception have just like a physical world perception cognitions action this is the one important this is the one important difference between the artificial intelligence and program and robot the ai program performs in a computer simulated environment while the robot performs in the physical world for example in chess ai program can be able to make move by searching different node has no facility to touch or 
since the physical world however the chase playing robot can make a move and the grabs the piece of the interacting with the physical world why it's a very simple means game in play we play the games with the help of the ai and the robot is play the game with the help of ai and his physical body parts this is the perceptions